guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a tag video. I feel like there's a billion tag videos circulating YouTube right now and I feel like I can never keep up so I've been trying to like make notes and stuff. Forgive me for my slowness if you guys are really into tag videos. I am too. I think they're so fun. Hopefully someday I can come up with my own tag video but for right now I'm just gonna be, you know, doing other people's tag videos and this one is actually by one of my friends. Her name is Danielle Schmidt. I will go ahead and link her video down below. She's super cool and she created this tag and I am gonna collab and do this tag with my other friend, Kat from Rented Fashion. Kat is really cool, you guys, if you haven't checked out her channel. She, I would say, is like my first real YouTube friend. Like, I've talked to a lot of people that I've been subscribed to and subscribed to me on YouTube, but she honestly, like, goes above and beyond. I don't know what, like, how she found my channel, but I remember when she was new to YouTube and she was just really good at reaching out to me and being super friendly in my comments. And I just love her so much. And you can tell, like, people are so attracted to her personality. And I just think she's hilarious. Plus she has like really cute pets like she's got this giant dog named Sam and her kitties and yeah She's just great. So check out her channel as well And I'm super excited to be collabing with her because we've been talking about collabing forever And this chick like you guys think I film in advance. She is like on point with her scheduling So finally I messaged her and I was like you want to do the makeup habits tag and she was like, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, finally. So I'm really excited. Thank you, Kat, for doing this with me. I'm going to list who I want to do this tag video down below. So go ahead and check out if I listed you guys. Please don't feel bad if I didn't because I'm... It's just like too many people sometimes, you know, but if you are a content creator, go ahead and make this video because you might inspire somebody else to do it and so on and so forth. And of course, don't forget to check out Danielle's channel. I'm going to shut up now and get into this video. Okay, guys, first question is how often do you wear a full face of makeup? I would say every day during the week, most of the time I do, I mean like 99% of the time, I have a full face of makeup on. I usually test makeup during the week because I obviously have a job, so this isn't my full-time deal, so I will usually go to work like full beat. Like sometimes my coworkers always are like, I wonder what makeup look Karen's gonna show up with to work because it's ridiculous. Like I have a very like, I don't know how I would describe it, but I uh, have a very non-creative type job. So like I always have like pink eyeshadow, purple eyeshadow, like blue highlighter. Like it's crazy because I'm always testing something out, but people don't mind. I think they get a kick out of it. So I do wear a full face five days of the week and then usually on the weekends guys I'm freaking slacking like unless we're going out and doing something I'm not wearing makeup on the weekend and I don't really I'm not one of those people that just puts makeup on like to sit at home so which there's nothing wrong with that but it's really just during the week is when I wear makeup most of the time I do like to give my skin a little bit of a break number two is your everyday look more neutral or more colorful if you had asked me last year I would say more neutral but in 2018 I've been really getting into color as have many people on YouTube this year. I feel like a lot of people are branching into color mostly because of some of these smaller YouTube channels that are really into color and like promoting all of the indie brands that have cool colors and duochromes and shit like that. So yeah, I would say definitely more color but I do try to balance and uh, yeah, just try different things all the time. Number three, how long does your full makeup look take to do so if it was just like what I have on right now it would be a half an hour tops but if I was going out and I need to do like lashes and contour and baking and stuff it would maybe take a little bit longer but usually I can achieve this look in about 20 minutes or so and I really like taking time and doing my makeup it's just so fun to me so yeah Hopefully that's not too much time, but there's definitely times where my husband's like, uh, can you start getting ready because we have to be somewhere. <laughs> Number four, do you apply foundation before or after your eyeshadow? Most of the time it's after my eyeshadow. I think that's just the easiest for me, but there's times where I change my mind and I'm like, ooh, I want to do my foundation first. I do have to have like a really reliable eyeshadow palette though if it's something that I have to deal with fallout and I know it, I usually will just do my eyes first. It's just 
100% easier for me to do my eyes first and then my foundation. Okay, number five. What are your bad makeup habits that you just can't stop doing? I think probably my worst makeup habit is probably not washing my brushes frequently enough. The thing is though, I have a gajillion brushes back there, so I found a way to get out of washing as frequently just by accumulating more brushes. I don't really know if that's the best way to do <laughs> to remedy the situation, like I should just wash my brushes. And I also use a lot of the Cinema Secret brush cleaner in between like washes, but I really wish I enjoyed cleaning my brushes more, but I, I really freaking don't. It really sucks cleaning your brushes. Number six, do you use a beauty influencer's technique or your own? I feel like it's a mix for sure. I did not wear any makeup for a long time. I started wearing makeup when I moved to the US, so I haven't been wearing makeup for that long, but 10 plus years. Yeah, I think definitely you learn stuff. You know, you watch YouTubers and you gain ideas and you're like, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. Why didn't I just do my makeup that way? Or, you know, it's something you've just been doing the same way since you started doing your makeup. and. So I would definitely say I do more stuff that I learned from beauty influencers than I did on my own. So yeah. Next question. What is the one step that takes you the longest to do? I don't wear falsies every day, but the thing that takes me the longest is eyelashes because I am so much of a perfectionist and I just have the worst time with them because I feel like I can never get close enough to my lash line. And that really is the trick with making your eyelashes look flawless. So it's something I've definitely vowed to get better at in 2018. And in fact, I want to wear lashes more, especially when I film, because I think it just adds like such a gorgeous touch to your makeup look. Yeah, lashes. Lashes takes me the longest. Okay, number eight. What is this one step you could skip in your routine? I don't think anything is really skippable in my routine. I think I do the least and try and make it look like the most. I do have pretty decent brows, so I feel like if I had to skip a step, I could really skip my brows because they're pretty full on their own. I do like to fill them in because I love like very, very dramatic eyebrows. So that would be the skip step I would skip if I like had to skip a step. The step I miss quite frequently and it shocks me is actually I forget to put mascara on a lot and it's fucking weird because I don't even have like very long lashes but sometimes I'm like ah oh, fuck I forgot to put mascara on and sometimes it's because I did did like this really bold look and then I was like out the door and I didn't even realize that I didn't have mascara so that's pretty freaking embarrassing okay and then there's a part b to this question and I think that question the part b is what is the one step you could skip in your routine and I would say the step I could skip in my routine Ooh, that's tough. I guess I don't always have to like set my foundation. Actually, I could skip contouring. I actually do skip contouring. I'm not a huge fan of contouring like I used to be. I think contouring was definitely a trend um, back in like 2015-16. I've definitely fallen away from contouring. I prefer to bronze, so I love using bronzer, but I can live without contouring and I have for the last couple of years. Number nine, what makeup look is out of your comfort zone? I think smoky eyes, like a black smoky eye is definitely out of my comfort zone. I've talked about it previously. I just feel like my eyes are too small, like I don't have the retail space to do a black smoky eye. I totally don't mind if somebody wanted to volunteer, come over and give me a smoky eye. That's totally fine with me, but doing it on myself, I'm 100% uncomfortable. So you will most likely never see me with a black smoky eye. If you do, it's because I really tried, really tried and really wanted to see what, what would turn out if I, if I tried to do one. Okay, number 10. Do you wear matte, creamy, or glossy lipsticks? My go-to lipsticks are matte liquid lipsticks. I don't know what I did with my life before liquid lipsticks are, were invented. They're just the most comfortable, most long-wearing. I'm not one of those people that reapplies me, my lipstick throughout the day. So I absolutely love the invention of liquid lipsticks and I hope they never freaking go away because I would be really sad about it. Number 11, if you could only wear one shade of lipstick, what would it be? The one shade of lipstick I would choose to wear is the one I have on today. This is Lolita by Kat Von D. 
I think it is such an amazing shade. It's just my go-to. I'm so glad she came up with this shade because it's just so hard to find like a flattering nude for my skin tone. And Lolita 2 is amazing too. It's like a warm, neutral nude shade for my skin tone again. So Lolita 1 or Lolita 2, I would wear those every freaking day for the rest of my life if I could only pick one. Okay, number 12. Do you highlight or contour? I love to highlight more than I like to contour. I feel like contouring is such a sensitive thing because you have to have the right shade, otherwise it can look muddy, otherwise it can look crazy, otherwise it looks like you put the bronzer in the wrong freaking spot. So contouring is definitely something that I don't love to do. I used to love to do it. I mean, if you guys saw my makeup empties I threw out my Kat Von D shade and light palette because I had like pretty much used it up which I was really proud of but not something I do as frequently now but I freaking love to highlight as you can tell I am bathing in highlighter today very very fun stuff last question what is the one step that makes you feel complete so <laughs> I feel like a lot of things make me feel complete Definitely highlight because like who doesn't love to glow? I, I don't know when that trend is gonna end, but I really don't want it to and the other thing that really makes me feel complete is a nice dowsing of setting spray. It can be Mac Fix Plus. It can be anything. It just like really helps like you know settle the makeup on my face and that just like to me is like the symbol of the end of me doing my makeup for the day and like heading out the door. I just love that like spritz. I don't know if there is anyone that doesn't use makeup spray. I think it's such a great invention. I don't even know if it actually, no, I know it makes a difference in my makeup game, but if you aren't using a setting spray, oh my gosh, like you're missing out because it just completes your makeup. It just does. There's like magic in it. Maybe if you don't want to spend on setting spray, just buy like some water in like a spray or like buy a spray bottle, put some water in it and just like mist it on your face and it'll it'll just make life better so that is what completes my makeup for me okay guys that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching and thank you so much Kat for collabing with me if you haven't checked out Kat's channel it will be linked down below she's amazing let her know I sent you and say hi and if you are from Kat's channel thank you so much for coming over and checking out mine um, we are two Asian badasses, I would like to say. We always talk about brown girls and our brown girl problems <laughs> when we text each other, but I love her, and I just want to say thank you. And again, if you are a creator, I will tag people in my description box, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Bye!